hello assalamualaikum our today's task is to draw and analyze a simple simply spotted in four concrete beams in e tabs with the following details the beam shown uh, has a cross section dimension of 600 by 600 mm and uh, compressor strength of the uh, rc will be 35 megapascal and uh, there is a udl that will start from 25 mm from the hinge board and will end up to the 75 mm from the hinge board uh, now we uh, let's uh, move to the e tabs interface this is the e tab interface and we have uh, to start a new model and we will define the uh, unit size well that is metric si and uh, the other course will be same as we have used in the previous sections now we will uh, assign the number of grid lines uh, that uh, uh, there will be a two number of grids along the extraction one along the y direction and distance along the extraction will be 100 meter and that will be suppose that is one meter Let's uh, go to the custom grids uh, data to check our uh, layout. This is the layout of our grid system. That will be fine. Okay. And uh, we need to define the number of stories here. That is 1. And we will put it at, uh, as 1 and click OK over here. Now we really need to define the material properties over here. We go to the material properties. 4000 PSA concrete is already here. Click OK over here. And now we will define the section properties. Like we go to frame section, add a new property. We will define the beam over here that has a cross sectional dimension of 600 by 600 millimeters. And we will name it as a beam 600 by 600. And uh, material selected will be 4000 psi, and we will change the dimension over here 600 by 600. Modify show repass, and we'll select the beam over here. And uh, that's uh, all about. And we'll click OK. Beam has been defined over here that has a processing dimension of 600 by 600 millimeters. Click OK over here. Now we need to just uh, draw beam, and we to draw beam, we'll uh, go to draw menu and draw beam, and we draw. Uh, beam options and we will select the uh, defined beam from uh, here and uh, we will uh, draw the beam over here uh, beam has been drawn and we will click escape to cancel the command now we need to assign the sports to the beam uh, let's select the uh, joint over here and uh, go to the assign menu joint menu and restraints and we will select the roller sport over here apply roller sport uh, ok and we will select the other Support, uh, other joint and uh, we'll uh, apply the hinge port over here and we'll apply it and ok uh, hinge port has been formed now we need to apply a load over here and uh, for this purpose we need to go to assign menu and frame loads and frame loads uh, in frame loads we have to go to the distributed loads and in distributed load we need to uh, select uh, say that uh, we need to select as a live load and uh, or you can also uh, as a live load and uh, here we will uh, go for the absolute distance uh, uh, from and i uh, we can also use as a relative distance from and i it is uh, it will be uh, divide the whole section to uh, 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 consider the whole section as a one unit and we need to define the ratio in this section and uh, for the sake of simplicity we will select the absolute distance from the and i option and we need to apply a uh, udl from uh, that will start from 25 mi uh, meter distance and they will end at the 75 distance 75 meter distance for this purpose uh, we need to apply 25 and 0 over here we need to write 25 and 10 as uh, uh, at 25 meter distance there is a 0 and 10 uh, meter uh, udl as well and uh, similarly we need to apply as uh, uh, write a 75 meter distance and 10 kilometer per meter and again 75 and 0 as well and we will uh, select the replace existing loads and we will need to select the beam over here we have selected the beam and we will apply the loads and uh, click ok over here uh, in this uh, at this stage beam has been formed and uh, uh, created and load has been applied and uh, for this uh, section you can view the uh, applied load and we will go to the elevation option and for this purpose we need to check the uh, elevation of our, of our beam that it has a ruler support and uh, it has a hinge support and uh, uh, the uh, uh, load is 10 kN per meter <coughs> starting from the 25 meter distance and will end on the 75 meter distance we can also check the uh,
load in three dimensional as well this is the load along the three dimensional face and uh, now we need uh, to check the uh, uh, model to analyze the model uh, before checking the model we need to uh, uh, define the load modify load pattern as well if uh, the dead load multiply is 1 and uh, if we uh, keep it as 1 it will consider the dead load of the beam as well so we don't need to consider the dead load of the beam so we will uh, apply uh, modify it as 0 and in this way the self weight of the beam will not be considered and for the analysis of the beam we will consider that a uh, beam as a weightless member for this purpose uh, let's uh, now check the model and uh, select all options and uh, This shows that there is a model has been checked and no warning message was generated. Now we need to analyze the beam and we will go to the anal analyze option analyze menu and run analysis. And uh, before uh, running the analysis, we need to uh, save the beam, uh, save the model. Analysis is in the process. It will show some uh, warning messages. We can ignore the warning message as well, and we we'll click done over here. And beam has been analyzed, and uh, we can check the uh, support actions against live load that we have applied and that will affect fy and f and by mvc by over here and it here shows the support actions as well that is 250 kilonewton and uh, we can also check the uh, shear force and bending moment diagram as well for this purpose we need to go to the uh, display menu force or stress diagram and uh, frame Mangrove force diagram, and for this purpose, you need to check the shear force shear 2 2. And we will uh, can also see the shear force diagram of our simply spotted beam. In this beam, the dead load of the beam wasn't considered at, at all. And we can also check the principal movement along the 3 3 dimension. And this is the principal movement along the 3 3 dimension. That's all about our today's. Uh, task uh, we uh, I will uh, summarize our today's task first of all we have defined the materials we then uh, uh, after uh, defining the grid and uh, story data as well and uh, after that uh, after defining material we have used uh, we need to define the section properties and we have to find the section of the material beam and uh, then we uh, have assigned the sports and then we have assigned the loads as well and after that we uh, uh, modify the load patterns uh, in uh, the dead load uh, multiply will be zero and that so that the uh, dead load cannot be considered during the analysis process and after that we check the model and analyze the model and we can view the shear force and movement diagram simply that's all about our today's lecture thank you